Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to use Secure DevOps Kit for Azure in order to run security scans against the ARM template and against the deployed resources in Microsoft Azure. This kit will give us some recommendations about the um, configuration that we need to add to our resources to, uh, to respect the uh, good practices that are recommended by the Azure uh, team. So we can run this secure DevOps kit using either PowerShell commands, or we can run it also from our CI CD pipelines using Azure DevOps. Here we'll see the second option. And at the end, we'll get an Excel file with all the uh, good practices that we respect and all the bad practices that were detected in our uh, deployment. So that later we get recommendations for how we can enhance the security of our uh, resources and what are the uh, good practices that we need to uh, respect. So let's get started. So to start with here, I have here the website, the official website for the Secure DevOps Kit for Azure, where here we can find the documentation about how to use this uh, uh, this tool. So it's basically a PowerShell tool, but here we want to see how to use it from our CI CD pipelines, where we want to automate the deployment, but also to add security to our deployments. We want to, uh, to make sure that we respect the good practices for how to configure our services. So the, I take a sample application, one that I, I use uh, always for my demos, which is web app with database demo. It's open source application available on GitHub. And here I, it's deploying a sample uh, web application with a database. And inside this folder, ARM resource group deployment, I have a JSON uh, ARM template that will uh, deploy those resources and configure the web app and the uh, database and the SQL Azure um, here. So I have created already the CI pipeline for uh, this web application. So I'm compiling the application, I'm running some um, Sonar Cloud analysis, and then for the database and for the ARM templates, I'm publishing those files to be used later from my uh, release pipeline. So from my release pipeline, I have here um, lots of environments so i have dev test prod and pre-prod and they have another dedicated environment azure uh, that i have called it azsk for this environment what i have done is that i start by taking the uh, by uh, validating the arm template itself using this uh, um, this task as the azure resource group deployment so this one will validate the arm template only uh, and uh, from a syntax point of view okay it will just validate the json uh, syntax for my template that's not enough i want to add more security um, uh, scans so what i want to do here is that i want to read that arm template and see the, and read the configuration for my services in that arm template so that i can see i can say this respects the good practices or not and that's what I'm trying to do here with the uh, Azure Security Kit ARM Template Checker. So this is a task that you will need to add to your Azure DevOps uh, as an extension. So first here, when you try to add this task to your pipeline, you should look for secure or security. And from here, I get you will get uh, or you will need to install this task from the uh, marketplace so for me i have already installed it but for you you will have a button asking you to uh, install it in your azure devops uh, uh, organization i have already done that so from with that now i have access to my um, azure security kit tasks so here i have the first task for the security verification uh, tasks okay so I have used this uh, task and this needs because it will scan my ARM template so it need to know where is that ARM template and here I'm telling it where to find that ARM template and then where to find the um, parameters file and that's all 
then the tool will try to run uh, PowerShell commands in order to uh, in order to uh, make sure that the configuration and my ARM template is um, respects the good practices and security point of view okay so this will check against the ARM template before deploying it okay then what we'll do here is that we'll go to deploy that ARM template using the Azure Resource Group deployment. So I'm connecting to my Microsoft Azure subscription. Then I want to deploy into a specific resource group and I'm specifying the location. And here I'm telling it what is the ARM template I'm going to use. So when deploying this ARM template, this will create a um, web app and a database. Okay. And SQL Server, of course. Later, after deploying those resources, I want to make sure or I want to run security scans against those resources deployed in Microsoft Azure. And that's what I'm going to do with this task, the AZSK security verification tests. Okay. Again, I have added this task from the pipe from the available resources here. So again, you will need to install the, um, the task from the marketplace okay by doing that here I connect to my Azure subscription again I connect to that resource group I want to make to run scans using resource groups not here you can also scan uh, resources uh, tagged by certain uh, tag values but here I want to uh, scan resources within a certain resource group that is the resource group I have the, um, specified here then it needs to find my subscription ID. I'll give it my subscription ID. And then here, uh, I'm telling it to also run subscription controls and send events to log analytics. That's all I need to do in order to run those uh, kind of uh, tests. Okay. So now I'm ready to create a new release and see what is the result of running those uh, uh, type of tests. So I'll go to select only my AZSK environment. And from here, I go to uh, create. So this will uh, trigger a new release pipeline. I have already run that before, right here. And here we find the result for uh, that uh, scans. So here you find that already my uh, ARM template failed because it did find uh, uh, an error here. If we type here to expand the uh, details about this task, we find here, yes, it fails. Why? Because here we get the results of the uh, scan. And here it tells us clearly that we have um, 12 or 19 at total tests failed. And we have nine, uh, 20 who have, uh, uh, or only one who succeeded. And we see here, we, those are, uh, we have some high, medium and low uh, security check uh, uh, risks and from here we can find all of those failed checks so we can find here it's one uh, did fail it because we are not using Azure Active Directory to authenticate to the database and we are not enabling we didn't activate the uh, threat detection server for the database and so on and threat detection uh, analysis and we have uh, remote debugging already enabled by default and uh, we are not using the uh, latest versions and we are not enabling logging and monitoring we are not allowing uh, only HTTPS to be uh, activated and so on so those are all bad uh, good practices that we are not respecting so we should um, we should take this into account and we should uh, take action to uh, check and um, make sure we are respecting the good practices and security point of view. So this is the result of those security checks. Here not I have only uh, two or three, three resources, but if you have dozens of resources, you will get um, uh, um, a bigger list of uh, good uh, practices. And at the end here, it tells me that it have generated uh, an Excel file that have the details of all of the failed tests okay and they can get that through downloading all log uh, zip files so if i go to here to download all log files this will take me to download that file okay i'll save it on my machine and then i'll go to 
take a look at that uh, uh, zip file here I open that uh, zip file and you see here we can find the output for uh, the uh, uh, for the CD pipeline and they have also two zip files for running the security checks against the ARM template and against the deployed resources let's start with security checks against the ARM template so from within this folder we'll find the Excel file so if I open if I try to open this uh, Excel file right here I find the uh, results about the uh, security scan analyzer so here it mentions clearly the threat detection was not enabled uh, Azure Active Directory is not used to authenticate as admin to the database and the other um, uh, checks right here so I can f share this uh, Excel file with my uh, with my team or, the, or with uh, the security guys in addition to that we can also find the log for those security checks so here I get some uh, more nifty uh, uh, output so from here I can get all the failed and passed uh, tests okay and we have the same or we have another actually um, Excel file for running the security checks against the deployed resources themselves so from here I can go to this folder actually and they can see here I have that Excel file and they can see the same recommendations applied right here now let's come back to our uh, CD pipeline and from here after deploying the ARM template we did uh, run the security checks against the uh, deployed resources so from here I can get the uh, different re the different reasons why that uh, failed or what what are the practices that I'm not respecting from here so from this output you can find all of the uh, remarks so from here it tells me that 25% of the checks have passed and yeah we have a lot to be uh, corrected here so we can take a look at some of the checks here it tells me for example that um, so I need to store the secrets in my in uh, key vault and I need to enable IP restrictions to not allow anyone to connect to my database and I need to enable um, managed service identity to have a strong auth authentication uh, uh, mechanism and I need to enable logging and monitoring I need to create multiple instances and so on so all of these uh, they worth <laughs> looking at and understanding why uh, this uh, kit in want us to use those bad, those good practices in order to uh, have um, uh, to uh, enable security and to have more secure environment in, uh, in Microsoft Azure so then I can take action so I can go to my Azure subscription I can go to the resource group that were uh, created by my environment and from here I can go to the different uh, resources and um, yeah make corrections to here and enable uh, threat detection um, f for my databases for example and uh, so on and clearly you see here it's threat detection was uh, is disabled right here so it's good practice to go to enable that and uh, save the logs into a storage uh, account cool so now let's go back to the CI CD pipelines so this is the CD pipeline that we have run it where we have the both tasks for um, DevOps uh, secure kit so this is the um, CI CD pipeline using the visual editor but now if you want to write your CD pipeline or CI CD pipelines inside a YAML um, configuration file of course you can do that with Azure DevOps and here I have added a sample for how to do that using YAML so here in this uh, deployment I have created or I have used the same task for AZSK ARM template checker and I have that uh, task available here so um, I can go to check here and search for that uh, task and then I can uh, find it if I look by AZSK I can find both tasks available here so then I can click and I can configure that task to give it the, fo the path for the uh, ARM templates and so on I have already done that here so this is the YAML code for it 
I give it the input for the ARM and the parameters fo uh, folder. And then after the deployment, here I'm using another task for scanning the uh, resources deployed in Azure. For that, I'm connecting to my Microsoft Azure account. I'm specifying the resource group, which is available in a, a variable here. And then I'm giving it the subscription ID and enabling um, G GSS scan or resource group uh, scans. This is available from within the uh, application's source code. So here, if you go back to this uh, source code on GitHub, here you can find the file Azure Pipelines CICD.yaml. And from here, you'll find the source code that we have used in this demo. Great. I hope you have you like it this uh, uh, demo and I would recommend you to go to uh, check my YouTube channel for to get more videos and more content about anything DevOps, Kubernetes, containers and Azure. So thank you and see you next time.